Hi kids, good morning and welcome back to my EVS class. I am very excited today and do you know the reason why? I am meeting my students after so long time. I believe that you all are safe and you would have enjoyed your vacations by staying at home with your family. So kids, I have something for you. Do you remember chapter number 4, Living and Non-Living Things that we had started before vacations? Yes, today we are going to continue this chapter. So here, I am ready with recapitulation work of this chapter. Are you ready kids? Then go for it. This module, we will be Recapitulating the characteristics of living and non-living things. Till then just see the pictures. The picture of a baby, butterfly, fan, a beautiful flower. Before starting our topic, just observe the picture of a study room given below. Kids, tell me that do you have a study room? Your answer will be definitely yes. You will tell that ma'am, we all are having study room. In fact, I myself is having a study room in which I keep my books, my laptop and whatever things I require for studying. Just look at the picture. The boy is studying with his laptop. Books are kept. Papers are scattered. A school bag is kept, a table lamp is there, pen stand. This room is having a photo frame on the shelf, a coffee mug along with some toys. Now, if I call the boy that come here, he will stand up and just come to me. But if I ask the school bag to come here, it won't come. Unless the boy carries the school bag and bring it to me. Because the school bag cannot move on its own. So this tells you that we are surrounded by living and non-living things. But the only thing is to identify, to be able to identify these things properly. Here is a mind map for you showing the characteristics of living things. I know that you all are aware of the word characteristics. It means telling something about others. If we are not aware of a person, how we are going to describe about him? We will tell about the height, the color of the eyes, about the texture of the skin, the color of the, the, com the complexion, then his appearance, what type of dress he is wearing, then the shoes and all other things. That is a way of identifying a person, any object. So let us see the characteristics through a mind map. The first characteristic of a living thing is that they breathe. Here in the picture you can see that breathing means taking in oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide. Both these gases are present in the air. The second characteristic is they can move. Here you can see the girl walking. The third one they need food to live. What happens when you are hungry? You rush to the kitchen, ask your mom to give you something to eat. The fourth character, stick, they grow. Here, you can see an infant grows into a kid, then a teenager, an adult and finally into a, an old person. The fifth character stick, they give birth to young ones, means they produce their similar ones, such as 
the young one of cat is kitten the young one of tiger is cup duckling is the young one of duck calf is the young one of cow puppy is the young one of dog lamb is the young one of sheep and many more the sixth and the last characteristic they feel can you see what is the appearance appearance what is the expression that a, the boy is showing he has seen something and he is scared our faces are very expressive we show our feelings through our faces so these all characteristics belong to living things now in the next slide you will see a video that shows how plants show movement we know that plants do not move do not walk like us but they show movement in some different this is touch me not plant you can see that the leaves have started folding up when someone touches it you can see that how beautifully the leaves are folded now this is the movement shown by a plant and what happens when it is left undisturbed for some time then again the leaves open up another way of showing movement is you would have seen that when plants are growing and from where the sunlight comes these plants are just turned towards the sunlight so these are two ways of showing movement this slide shows the characteristics of non living things the first characteristic they do not breathe can a teddy breathe no it cannot it does not require oxygen the next characteristic they cannot move the doll cannot move it is possible only if you carry the doll and move somewhere the third characteristic they do not need food do we give food to a chair does it require food no it does not the fourth characteristic they do not grow have you seen a house growing like you no what happens day by day when uh, we grow up our height increases our look changes but it does not happen for a house the fifth characteristic they do not give birth to young ones this is a mathematics book and does it produce its own kind no it will always remain one the sixth characteristic they do not feel you have seen the crayons you use them for coloring for filling colors when we use these crayons the size decreases day by day but have you seen the crayons crying or feeling something when their size decreases no they do not feel one question would arise in your mind that car motorcycle these two examples they move then you can ask that ma'am these things are moving then it means that they are living things my answer will be no these things are non living things because they work on engine and they are driven by man then only they can move after this slide there is a video watch it carefully
After going through this video, I hope that you would have understood the 
differentiation between living and non living things very well and you would have enjoyed the video isn't it was it interesting yes it was very interesting every day we end our class with some assignment and instruction for today's instruction the content that is given today in the video and in the pdf file is not to be copied it is just for understanding you need to understand them very well for today's assignment you have to read the chapter find out the examples of non living and living things around you we will share what things we see around us that are living and non living in the next class we will be doing the on notebook work so you are supposed to be ready with the notebook so that you can write beautifully till then stay safe stay very well have a healthy diet take care of your family be happy have smile on your face and kids and bye bye